Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we are doing a special live video because today is National Lollipop Day, and I figured I've never made lollipops on my channel, so I said, why not? Let's make some lollipops. So, we'll do it live. Hello, um, I believe I can't see, I'm actually shooting this on my phone, so... First? Yeah, you're a second though. <laughs> but that's okay, I'm glad you're here. So hello everyone. Like I said, I am going to teach you guys how to make lollipops. Homemade lollipops is a very simple process. I'm shooting this from my phone, so uh, please bear with me. That's only because I couldn't get my live feed up on my computer, which I wanted to do, so I'll have to work on that. But hello everyone, thanks for joining. And uh, oh, Byron, how you doing buddy? Um, hope you make root beer, jello, and rainbow cake. I will be making some of those things uh, at some time, that's for sure. Hello? You need to make Mountain Dew ice cream. Yes, it is so good. You have to try it. It's a fun recipe to make. Those of you who are watching that don't know, I've made Mountain Dew ice cream back in September of last year, and it's done well. People like that video. But today, we're going to make these homemade lollipops. It's a very simple process. Um, all you need is a heavy bottom pot like this, nothing big. We're making a very small recipe and, and what we're going to do to this pot, we're going to add one cup of sugar, just pour that in there, and you're going to add a half a cup of water, soda lollipops, that would be pretty cool, and then a fourth of a cup of... Why can't I think? <laughs> uh, Joseph, hey James, how are you? Love videos. Oh, thanks Joseph, appreciate it. Uh, my third grade teacher used to make those for, oh cool. You're lucky to have a teacher make these for you. Um, then you're gonna use a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup, which as you can see, uh, make condensed milk. Good suggestion. Yes. So there's about a fourth a cup of light corn syrup, which is very sticky. Uh, you should do some good finger licking chicken wings. Yeah, chicken wings are very good. I do love chicken wings. So I'm not used to sh shooting live video, but all we gotta do now is take this, put this over on the stove. We're gonna heat this up until it comes clear. Cause as you can see, it's quite murky right now because of all that sugar. And I'll show you in a minute. I'll turn this over here, even though my kitchen is a bit of a mess. But I'm going to put it on the stove, I'm going to heat this up, because it's going to take a little time for that to happen, and why that's happening, I can answer some questions if you have it. Uh, James, Steve's Kitchen and Vincenzo Plate are truly wonderful guys. They really are. If you don't know who Byron just said, Steve's Kitchen and Vincenzo from Vincenzo's Plate are really wonderful guys, and they truly are. They're great people. Um, I didn't catch that last comment, but it's hard to keep up sometimes. Um, let me see if I can adjust that. So is a better way to get the corn syrup out? They do have these devices. It's almost like a, um, like a syringe without the needle. And you can kind of like squeeze out the corn syrup. But it's a really cool way. I don't have one of those, but some people do. And see, awesome, keep it up. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. So uh, if you have questions, go ahead and ask. This is a perfect time for it. I don't get to answer a lot of questions on my regular videos, but this way I can actually see your comments live and I can answer them. And I really enjoy you know, answering questions whenever I can. And um, I don't know if I enjoy the live. It's kind of a, a pressure because I can't edit anything out. But hello, man. Thanks for it. Uh, no problem. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And um, so we're making these lollipops and right now it's over on the stove it's heating up we're going to get it until all that sugar has dissolved actually i want to give it a little stir right now um, let's see if i can adjust this a bit you can see my dirty kitchen which you usually don't see on so i'm just going to stir this up it's still heating up and it, it shouldn't take too long because we don't have a very big um big list of ingredients on here so it's very small amount. So we're gonna heat that up until the water becomes clear. Actually, I'm just out of frame for a minute. <laughs> Never mind me. There it is. Candy thermometer. 
So you will need a candy thermometer to make this. Um, if you don't have a candy thermometer, it will be difficult to tell when your um, candy has gotten to the right temperature. It needs to get to about 310 degrees, at least 305 degrees. Uh, you're going to keep your promise and make the rainbow cake. I, I didn't get the rest of that, Byron. I'm sorry. It, it, it got away too quick. I saw didn't keep your promise to make the rainbow cake. That's all I saw. Uh, sorry about that. But I'm stirring this up right now, and it's almost completely clear liquid-wise. We will... Yeah, and just a reminder, uh, what flavors are you making? That's a good point. Why don't you guys tell me what flavor you want this to be? Because I have a cabinet here full of a bunch of different flavors. Now, I can do regular vanilla, just about any extract I have. I have regular vanilla. I have mint, which cherry, that's a good one. I'm sure I have cherry. Uh, raspberry, that's good too. Uh, meatballs with code red in them, that would be cool. Fruit punch. Oh, good suggestions. So I have almond extract. I have, believe it or not, peanut butter extract. Um, I'm pretty sure I have cherry. Let's see in my dirty cabinet. Oh, I have raspberry. Raspberry's close by. What's this? Strawberry, raspberry. So I'm still stirring this. Oh, raspberry, another raspberry. Lemon, apple, sour apple, mint. Oh, some good ones. So so far there's two raspberries. There's a blueberry on there. Hmm. Strawberry lemonade. Oh, we're getting creative now, people. Here, I'm going to show you what, oh, that's not good. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. It's boiling. It's clear now. So now that it's clear, I'm going to put in my thermometer. Actually, that's not the one I want. Where did I put it? Oh, this is the one I want. And when you stick in a candy thermometer, you got to make sure it's not actually touching the bottom. You want it in the liquid, but not touching the bottom. And oh, fix that up. There we go. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I say cherry and raspberry. Ooh, that would be a good mix. Yeah, so I have a lot of options here. We can do quite a bit. So right now it is at, uh, where are we? Yeah, so we've got quite a ways to go. So while that happens, let's see, root beer, do two flavors. Yeah, see, that's good. So two flavors. So right now we have raspberry. What was this, raspberry and strawberry? Did somebody say that? Let's see, mixed berry. What other ones do we have? Butter rum. Cotton candy. Root beer. Hmm, let's see, if I, I don't know if I have root beer flavor. Do have cherry. Um, orange. I have orange. Uh, butter rum. Uh, bubble gum. I do have bubble gum. Plain beer. I, I don't. Yeah. So let's see. Let's give you choices. So we have cherry, raspberry, strawberry, butter rum, cotton candy, almond extract. Mint extract, vanilla extract. So what would you like to see out of all that? I think I have bubble gum left in there. Pretty sure I do. Because I just used it at a recipe recently, but I'm pretty sure I usually have a bunch of bubble gum. And there you go. Everything's falling out of my cabinet. Actually, I don't have any bubble gum. I just used my last bubble gum flavoring. So I have to get some. I have to pick some up. Strawberry and root beer. I actually I don't have root beer on me right now. Don't listen to them. <laughs> uh, oh, OMG, you making amazing things. Where's your restaurant? I don't have a restaurant. I just enjoy making things at home and sharing it with everyone. And that's what I like to do. So let's take a look at our thermometer here. Okay, yeah, we got a long ways to go. It's only at 200 degrees. We still have another 100 degrees or so to get to. So. Let's see. 
And if I didn't mention, once it becomes clear, let's see, I wonder when blackberry, that's a good one. Uh, root beer, vanilla cherry, that's a good call. Hmm, I'm mixed. What should I do? Vanilla cherry sounds good too. I haven't had that. Let me open this up and get this ready. Uh, I love my, thank you. You should invest in one, a restaurant. Um, yeah, a restaurant would be cool, but um, I, I don't know. I feel like I can really share more online. You vote for Nella Cherry. Hmm, so I'm going to pull my one of my cherries out here. Raspberry Cherry, Vanilla Cherry. There's a couple of Vanilla Cherries. That's kind of winning right now. We do have a little bit of time before I have to make the decision. So, see, so here's Vanilla and Cherry. So far, Vanilla and Cherry's in the lead. <laughs> uh, you'll give us a hint on what you are making on Sunday. Okay, so um, I'll give you a hint. It is a summertime recipe that's coming out this Sunday. Strawberry banana is good too. Cherry peanut butter. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know about that flavor. Another cherry vanilla. Ah, vanilla and cherry. Yeah, that seems like it's winning there. Raspberry and cherry mix. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's take a look at our thermometer. Yeah, we still got a long ways to go. So, hello. Um, I think that was London Grace videos, I think it said, or London Grace vlogs, I'm not sure. Sorry about the lighting. The lighting is not very good right now. I don't know, let me see something. I'm gonna see how this looks. Is the lighting better this way? What do you guys think? So let me know if you like the lighting this way or the way it was before I uh, turned off that light. So butter rum, yes, you like the lighting better this way? Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, Devin, hello. Hi, um, Insane Tiger, that's a cool name, I like that. Uh, mint, hmm. Better, cool, it is good anyway. Oh yeah, Jiggy Monkey, hello, hello, welcome. Mint cherry. That's a good flavor. I'm just going to check my temperature right here. So we're at 250 degrees right now. We need to get over 300, preferably closer to 310. All the way from Covington, Kansas. Hello. Welcome. Uh, raspberry cherry or vanilla strawberry. So far in the lead on the pick of the flavor is cherry vanilla. That is the lead and that's what I think I'm going to go with. A, a mix of cherry and vanilla. In fact, I'm going to even open the cherry because I think that's going to win. Kentucky, yes. Hello, welcome from Kentucky. Uh, raspberry cherry. Byron wants that raspberry cherry. Uh, love your videos, James. Oh, from Texas. Hello, thanks. Welcome from the great state of Texas. I've only flown into Texas. I need to actually visit Texas and see El Paso. Cool. I need to um, actually go there and like visit and see the place more. Something more than just the airport would be nice. I love to travel, so. From Iowa, hello, welcome from Iowa. Um, Mayweather or McGregor? Ooh, I'm gonna go with Mayweather. Mm, probably shouldn't, but you probably lose, but you kinda have to do it. Um, most of Texas use Central Standard Time. Yes. So, where are you from? I am from Maryland, uh, from Washington, D.C. area. Wilmington, North Carolina. Washington came in. Hello. Everyone put in their state, so I'm going to put my Pennsylvania. That's close by. Uh, McGregor going to win. Okay. McGregor's going to win. Um, they're going by so quick. I'm trying to read them. I'm sorry if I don't read yours. Just say it again if I, um can't quite Idaho hello oh yeah Kara hi Kara <laughs> Kara I love Kara's channel I learned so much about farming on her channel because I am just a city boy okay guys so we've gotten the temperature we want I almost didn't see it so I turned off my heat I can pull my candy thermometer out right now and actually I let it heat up a bit too much but that's okay, it'll still work out. Let me, uh, you see how it started to caramelize a little bit in there? 
that's what you get when you shoot live video. <laughs> There's no redos. So it's no big deal. So what I'm going to do is as that cools down, still answer the question, Washington James, does anyone ever... Uh, blackberry flavoring you can't find it anymore I don't know there are ways to make your own flavoring um, let's see what are flavors what are flavors I'm gonna go for cherry vanilla that's gonna be the flavors I'm going for so hello from Texas and Washington and London hello London it's nice and late for you there uh, so it's seven o'clock here five hours ahead in London which by the way I love London um, uh, Dominican, uh, Dominican Republic awesome uh, awesome flavor pick. Yeah, well, you guys picked the flavor. Um, I just kind of went with the flow. Let me just push this out of the way. Uh, so what we have right here is our heated up syrup. It got up to 310 degrees, really. Yeah, it's 12 a.m. there, yes. So, and that's in London, by the way. Uh, Chef Baker, whatever you want to call, um, all that stuff, it doesn't matter. But yeah, so what we're gonna do right now is, some people let this cool down before they mix in their like flavors and their coloring. Do you guys want this a different color too? Because we can make this just about any color you want. But right now what I'm gonna do is mix in the flavoring. So I'm gonna open this up. This is a little dram. Now these are very flavorful, so if you ever use these, you don't have to use much to get the flavor you want. Um, you can get these at any like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of those type of stores. Uh, hello, hello, green. So, so far the color is green that people want. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this flavoring in. This is a little bit of the cherry. Not much. And then my vanilla extract. So it's 419 there. Okay, cool. Um, pour that in. I think that was from Washington. And just like I said, you have to be careful pouring it in. You can see it steam up. Sometimes it's best just to let it cool down before you do that. And stir this in. So what colors are people choosing for this? Someone wants pink, a couple greens. Um, pure vanilla extract, yes, that's what I'm using here. Um, you can use imitation you can use whatever really doesn't matter so I just mixed in the flavor so we have cherry vanilla lollipops right here a couple pink blue green come on we need some uh, another another blue pink pink lots of pink and blue what are we what are we gonna decide gold <laughs> that's a that's a new one blue green blue blue and green um, green and pink, pink, oh, pink and blue seem to be in the lead. Peach, is that a color? Pink, peach, green, oh, I don't know, lime green, red? There's only one red, I don't think that's gonna win, but the pink is kind of like red. So we have to make a decision fast, what are we gonna do? Pink, green, what are we gonna do, blue? I don't know what I should do. Green, oh, there's so many. There's like three different choices. Pink, blue, and green seem to be winning here. Pink, blue, or green? Pink, blue, or green? Oh, there's so many. Oh, can I pick? I don't know. <laughs> Black and blue? Pink? Hmm. I don't know, we're gonna have to decide before this starts uh, cooling down. So, oh, I think I might have to go with pink. Let's see if I have it up here. Pretty sure I do. I'm yellow. Oh, here it is. Pink. All the colors. So, this is my pink. I'm just going to take some. I'm going to drop some in there. Not much. Maybe. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> so, I'm just going to mix that through bring this over here so you guys can see so this is our pink lollipop homemade lollipops and <laughs> no dramatic faint <laughs> cool but either way they're gonna taste awesome so let's see 
blue. <laughs> I think you're a little late already coloring it pink. Although I could color it blue on top of the pink too, right? But there we go. So you do have to let these cool down depending on what you're using. Now, if you're using a silicone mat like this, this is these are little guitars. So I'm gonna let you guys decide where, while this cools down, I'm gonna let you decide what I should use to put these in as a mold. I have these, these are a silicone mat, they're like little guitars, and these sticks are reusable. And you can put this on there, you play guitar, awesome. So you can put that on there and you let it hard up and that's pretty cool, but I'm gonna give you some other choices too. Now on these molds, these are just plastic molds, um, you do have to let it cool down because if you try to put hot stuff onto these plastic molds, they will melt the plastic molds. Remember, this is 310 degrees. So this is one that I melted before. You can see some of them are melted. These are like um, uh, little like light bulb decorations for Christmas time and they didn't work out too well. You want guitar, guitar. This is little gingerbread men, they're pretty cool. And this right here are, I don't know if you can see it, this is a soccer ball, that's a basketball, this is a football, that's a baseball. Um, we might be able to do a mix of a couple different things, but we'll, the plastic mold. So um, what we'll do is, hello, um, I, I can't see your name, it goes by quick. Uh, is it Tarrett Savon? Hello, hello. So what we'll do is we'll start off with so you like the baseball sports ones, that's cool. Uh, light bulb and guitar. So we'll definitely do the guitar because a lot of people want the guitar ones. I don't know if we'll do one or two. Um, there are two choices because I can't find the stick for the other one. So we'll definitely do one of these, maybe both of them, depending on how much stuff we have. Do you want this guitar, which is kind of like a, a cool shape here? Um, well, this one kind of is too. They both, this one's a little bit more rounder this one's a little bit more sleek and narrow. Where did I get this? I got this from Amazon quite a few years ago, actually. So the right one, is it your right or my right? <laughs> my right hand, this is my right hand. This one, left, right, left. Um, wow, tick comments went by so quick. Uh, sleek and narrow. Okay, so sleek and narrow, I think the right one, yeah. Yeah, so we'll definitely do this one, and we might have enough to do both of them. We'll see. Um, we can do these now because the silicone mat is not going to melt, so that's the best one. Uh, do you remember World Wrestling Federation become world? I don't remember the exact date, but I remember as a kid it, we used to call it uh, WWE. So, and then it changed. I don't remember when. Probably sometime when I was in my early twenties, I would guess. I can't remember the exact date though, but I do remember it happening. Uh, yellow. Are we to, are we just still guessing colors right now? Yellow. A little late there, buddy. <laughs> it's all fun though. But um, let's see. Let me put this in here. We will start with the sleeker one. Okay, let me just fix that up. I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see as I pour it into the mold because you know that is the fun part, right? If I can fix this up. Okay, do one of each. Yes, I'm gonna definitely do one of that and then we have to wait for the others to cool down. Now let me pull lighting over a little bit. get this a little closer uh, I don't cook thank you so we do have to work kind of quick here so here we go before this heats up before this cools down I mean not heats up we're gonna pour this in here and you can just pour it you want to get it on over the stick and the, this mold this is quite thick it's a thick mold so it uses a lot of, of stuff. And it's already cooled down enough that I can actually use it on the plastic mold. I'm just gonna move this over a bit. It doesn't take too long for it to cool down. So, let's see, let's go to the sports one. Out of the sports, we might be able to do two of them. Do you guys want the football, baseball? 
soccer ball, basketball. Oh, thank you. And surprisingly, just to teach you guys, or just to give you a little insight, this is not real wood. It's actually only wallpaper that I put around a, um, uh, like another piece of wood. Football, football, lots of people saying football. There's a basketball in there. Um, so we got football right here, a basketball, a couple basketballs. Mm. So I think I'm definitely gonna go with a football. And uh, so I have these little popsicle sticks. Now this stick is quite large, so it is gonna overhang a bit. So I have it in here and um, let's pour this in before this heats up too, or before this cools down too much. Sorry if I'm blocking part of the camera, but we're gonna pour this in. We're gonna have a pink football. It's gonna be an interesting color. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, we'll have enough for one more, we'll, at least one more, maybe two more. So what's the other one? Did, I know someone said um, basketball. So what do you guys think? We have basketball, soccer ball, basketball, soccer ball, baseball, baseball, football wins, football wins, basketball. Okay, a couple basketballs there. Okay, I think the basketball might win. Uh, there's one soccer ball with a whole bunch of emojis on there. Soccer, oh, couple soccers. There's a couple soccers, couple basketballs. What are we gonna do? Gotta make a decision quick, guys. Because it's starting to cool down. Don't have enough for all. There's a baseball. Uh, basketball. Uh, basketball is going to win. So I got to go with basketball before this cools down. So here we go. Basketball. And you can, you don't even need mold. So if you don't have mold, you can just put some wax paper on like a baking sheet and literally just pour it out into little sections on like wax paper or um, you know something like that and be careful because this is very hot you don't want to touch that like I am um, but I am a trained professional <laughs> uh, James I am proficient in French yes I do know that actually um, you know I had seen that you let me put this up while we talk. How do you get them back? So yes, I, I do know that you're proficient in many languages there, Byron. So I wish I was proficient in a lot of languages. I know a little bit of German. I know a little bit of Spanish, but I'm not fluent in any of those. <laughs> I just know English, basically. Um, but I do know a little bit of some other languages. Yeah. So it is, it is quite interesting. Um, I wish, I, I really need to just study and do more so I can learn more languages because I love to travel. So learning another language is a fun way to talk to other people. And um, it's really exciting. I wish I learned more when I was younger. Well, my football is... Uh... <laughs> so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take this one and put it in my refrigerator to cool it down quicker. The other one be fine without being in a refrigerator. Yes, you should. <laughs> uh, you might. I, I missed a couple of those comments. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sometimes the comments go quick. Uh, can you make, what was that, cream pancakes? I think that is, or green? Is that, I didn't get it. Was it green pancakes or cream pancakes? I'm not sure. Um, you might be surprised. I have uh, some a video coming up soon that you might be surprised, we'll say. Uh, what's the recipe for the lollipops? The recipe for the lo lollipops was one cup of sugar, half a cup of water, and a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup. You just simply put it in a pot, you heat it up until you stir in it until all the sugar dissolves and becomes clear. And then at that point you stop stirring, you put a candy thermometer in, you get it up to about 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and I should do this more often, more live shows, you think? That'd be cool. Um, I do want to do more live shows, and if I do, it probably will be on, let's say, a Thursday night or so. I think that that's a good time to do it. 
just like now. And um, now I might do it like an hour or so earlier. I am going to work on getting my computer set up so I can shoot from there and read the comments on my computer because then I can see it a little better. But uh, doing it on my phone, I, I kind of I don't like it, but I am going to set things up better um, eventually. <laughs> uh, you should watch. Um, you can make German pancakes. Cool. I've been to Germany, actually. I've been to Berlin, Germany once, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I love Berlin, Germany. It's fun going there. Let's see how my... Um... So, let's take a look. So, you can see at this, it's still not hardened yet, but I'm going to put this one in the refrigerator, too. Let's get these nice and hard. It's going to just be a second. But I'm doing this recipe today because today is National Lollipop Day, so I figured it'd be fun to do a live video. I want to do more live videos anyway, and the fact that it's National Lollipop Day, it kind of just said, okay, great. Yes, what I'll do is after this uh, live stream ends, I will update the description. I'll type out the ingredients on there for you. That way you'll have it. Um, that, you know, I like to kind of do that if I can. So I have no problem doing that. Most of my other recipes, when I make a recipe that uh, the videos go out on Sunday, I will always have like a printable recipe on my Facebook or on my, sorry, on my website at funfoodsyt.com. So I always have the printable recipe on there that way, if you, because some people like to actually print it out. Uh, but on this one, I don't think I'm gonna do that. So I'll just make it on here and I'll put it in the description. Uh, I'm making a Three Musketeer bun. Oh, what I enjoy about making a Three Musketeer bun cake? Yeah, I think it was like a month or two ago. Um, how long have you been cooking? I've been cooking pretty much all my life. I've always helped my mom and dad, or, or my mom mostly, National Cheesecake Day is coming. So I always help my mom in the kitchen, stuff like that. Uh, so it's been pretty much all my life. Um, what was I talking about? Um, oh, the Bundt Cake, the Three Musketeer Bundt Cake. Yes, you got that right. That's the right ingredients. Uh, the Three Musketeer Bundt Cake I make like a month or two ago. It was a lot of fun. Um, I love like making the real chocolatey Bundt Cake like that and um, making the, the drizzle to taste like the inside of a Three Musketeers cake. I had to play with that recipe a little bit to get it to where I wanted it, at least the inside stuff. Uh, the Bundt Cake was quite easy, the actual chocolate, it's just a chocolate Bundt Cake, um, but I you know, I need to play with the inside recipe or the drizzle um, a bit. Can I make some cheesecake? Yes, I have made some cheesecake before, um, but I do need to make more cheesecake videos. Uh, it won't be the next video because I already have a video that I have finished editing. It'll go up on Sunday. It That video is going to be a... Um, yes, any flavors can be added to this recipe. Um, the video I have going on Sunday will be a summertime recipe, so that's my only hint to you. Um, I have a couple summertime recipes coming up. Old Bay Seasoning, there you go. I do have Old Bay Seasoning because I live in Maryland and it would be a sin not to have Old Bay Seasoning. So if you don't know what Old Bay Seasoning is, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, let's see, can you do chocolate flavored popcorn? I love chocolate flavored popcorn. So bear with me one minute while I look for my Old Bay seasoning. <laughs> nope, don't see it. But trust me, I do have Old Bay seasoning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I have it at the moment, but I do have it. What part? Uh, you're from Maryland? I am from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Originally from College Park, Maryland, but I live in Glen Burnie now. Um, you got lag. Sorry if it's lagging. Hopefully the internet works a little better. This time of day, it usually does slow down a little bit. Um, homemade Jolly Ranchers, which is a very elegant city. There you go. That's pretty cool. That's not far. Can you make a large uh, York peppermint patty? See, that's a good thing. I have made peppermint patties before. Actually, I did it a few years ago. I made, um, it was Halloween recipe of peppermint patties. But I never did a large one. So that's a very good suggestion. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, R. 
R. I, I don't know what R is. <laughs> But yeah, that's a great suggestion. A large peppermint patty would be a fun thing to make. I am looking to make something. Uh, can you make Jolly Ranchers? Jolly Ranchers, yes, because it's very similar to what we just made lollipop. Uh, when are you going to make root beer? I don't know yet. I have a lot of suggestions that people have come up with, and I'm going through the whole list. Uh, check the loggers. I'm going to check it in a couple minutes. Um, it should only take about 10 minutes or so for them to cool down if they're in the refrigerator. So let's see. Uh, can you make something wrestling? My 13 year old. Actually, yes, wrestling. I have made a couple things wrestling. I made a wrestling cake, the WWE um, cake that was, it, it looked just like the wrestling mat and the, the whole, you know, with the ropes and everything. Yeah, it had the. So it's pretty cool. I made that a couple years ago. So if you look through my channel, you, you, you should be able to see it. It was like the whole WWE logo and everything. Um, yeah, so it, it's definitely something I made in the past. I haven't made a wrestling uh, thing in the last year or so, but um, definitely look into it and I'll see what I can make. Can you make WWE ice cream bar? Okay, that'll be interesting. Um, Let's see, yes, uh, wrestling ring, like, yes, I made a wrestling ring cake, yes, I did that as well. So I did a wrestling ring, or, or I'm sorry, the wrestling belt. Uh, can you make something uh, uh, from the UK, hello. Uh, you love the UK, or the slushy video. I didn't get the whole uh, thing you just did there. I, I saw your subscriber from the UK. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. And I didn't see the whole thing because it went by so fast, but uh, something about the slushy video. Thank you so much for watching that, James. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, I'm glad you love the videos, man. And uh, Kara, I didn't see you, Kara. I saw Kara, but I didn't see what you wrote. These comments go by so quickly. They should hold them up there longer. You're from the UK. Yes, I love the UK. I have visited there so many times. Uh, I love your videos. Thank you. What I love about Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew is just a fun um, ingredient to use in a lot of different things. You enjoyed the slushy, uh, slushy videos. I can't talk. Um, layered salad? Okay, that's interesting. Hamburger cake? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, came across you know, from the WWE. That's cool. You came across from those videos. Yeah, I like that. Um, I love that I can make something that's, you know, pretty interesting and a WWE fan. Yes. I have a lot of really big WWE fans on here, and I think it's so cool. You, oh, yeah. Cool. Adam Thunder 2. Cool. Can you make a steak? Like, just regular, like, steak? Yeah, I could. <laughs> If I do, I'll probably just eat it on camera because I don't want to eat my steak cold. Ashley, hello, Ashley Cantu, hello. Nice to meet you. Ah, uh, thank you, Sharon, thank you. Can you make anything for girls' birthday cakes? Yes, I do have to do more um, like like uh, cakes for girls and stuff because, you know, as me, I kind of think like a boy and I kind of just like make stuff like wrestling cakes and stuff like that. Uh, you should make a s'mores, s'mores cupcake. I do have something in the works for s'mores, I'll tell you that, Joseph. Do you have a cooking business? I do not have, technically, I mean, I guess you can say YouTube is like the business, but milkshake ones, oh, you like the milkshake ones too, cool. Oh, thank you, um, uh, gaming knows that. Wow, these are cool. Sorry if I'm not reading your comments. They are going by so quick. I wish YouTube would do something about it and let them let the comments stay up a little longer so I can read them more. Uh, they go by so fast I can read like one of them and then the other ones already pops up and it, it goes away. Uh, so sorry if I'm not reading your whole comments. I, I hope I can read them. Um, and if I don't get to your comments right here, make sure when the video goes up, because um, after it goes live, it should go automatically Let's see, you can make M&M's paint cake? Oh yeah, that's cool. I don't know how to slow them down. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can ask questions, that's what we're here for. You like the, uh, again, I 
couldn't get the comments so quick. But yeah, ask questions. I'll be happy to answer when I can. And that's it. But yeah, again, like I was saying, I got to make more like girl themed cakes too. And I do want to make like, I was thinking about making a frozen cake, um, stuff like that. But I know time has changed and there might be some other, a very expensive steak. Yes. Hotel room quesadilla. Yes, that was a lot of fun. I did that with RKVC. They're friends of mine. Uh, ooh, there's comments going so quick. I'm sorry I missed your comments. I know somebody just asked if I if they can ask me a question. Then their comment came up and it went by so fast I couldn't even see it. Um, you like ice cream cakes. I do have to do more ice cream cakes as well. I've only done a couple of them on my channel. I need to do more of that. But uh, I want to make more girl themed cakes uh, like Dora. That's a that's a good one. Dora the Explorer. Um, please make make it make something with pineapple. Uh, what's your favorite fairy tale? I would s probably like Cinderella, I guess, or maybe Rapunzel, something like that. Uh, make a pizza, just like regular pizza. You get another device. Yes, I have another device. I was trying to upload onto my Mac, but I'm like I said, I don't normally do live videos, and I wanted to do one, and it would have took me some time to figure out how to do it from my Mac, because. YouTube now makes you, you have to download a separate like um, live streaming thing and hook it up and it would take me forever. And you see all the comments from, let's see, uh, have you ever seen WWE Ice Cream Bar? No, I haven't. Oh, I th R3Bs, hello. You made it, you finally made it. Hello, R3Bs, my friends from North Carolina, hello. You're late. Yes, you're late. You're in trouble. <laughs> uh, do you sing, play, instrument? I do not sing. You don't want me singing at all. Trust me. Uh, you just got home from karate. Awesome. So actually, we've already made our lollipops. Let's so get back to that. I'm going to check them right now. I'm going to pull them out of the refrigerator. Put them in the refrigerator just so they cool down. Do Kool-Aid now. Just regular Kool-Aid. Um, I do have lots of Kool-Aid. But let me pull my lollipops out of the refrigerator. Okay, this is still quite warm. So is that. You know what? I'm gonna... So just to show you, our football lollipop is kind of um, running a bit. So what I'm going to do is put these in the freezer to cool them down quicker. Just regular Kool-Aid, huh? What you make? Lollipops. Yes, I made lollipops because today is National Lollipop Day. And I did, because of the suggestion, these are pink football lollipop here and this is a pink basketball lollipop here and this is a pink guitar lollipop and what flavor do we use those two flavors we use cherry vanilla i let you guys vote on what flavors to use uh so i'm going to pop this in the freezer to try to speed up the process here because we're doing a live video right <laughs> Here's something you guys would be interested in because I've seen a lot of Mountain Dew comments on here. Do you know what's in here? Anyone can guess what's in here. And don't say ice cubes because that's only half right. <laughs> ice. Yes, it's half right. I just said half right. Let's see. So anyone can guess. Uh, do I learn ahead of time how to make this stuff? Sometimes I try on camera, and if it works out good, I keep the video. Um, sometimes I try recipes multiple times before I film. In fact, I have been trying a couple different recipes that have been failing the last uh, couple times. I have one recipe that has failed four times, four days in a row, and ah, Joseph got it right. Mountain Dew. Here. Mountain Dew ice cubes. Mm. Cool. <laughs> yes, Mountain Dew ice cubes right there. And uh, stream from device now, go Mac, stream dashboard, and you can connect. Yes, I did, and it, it 
Well, R3Bs can probably tell me how to do it better. Um, I'm horrible at live streaming on my Mac. And I went through the Mac, I went through all that and YouTube, but then it said I had to go to a live streaming. They gave me a list of different uh, live streaming apps, so I had to download that, and then I, I didn't set it up right, so I was like, I'll just do it for my phone this time. Um, what's my favorite Christmas memory? Hmm. I, I don't know. I think favorite Christmas memory would be probably one year I got a unicycle and I always wanted a unicycle. So can you imagine me like trying a unicycle? I think I was like 12, maybe somewhere around 12. So I was like going through the whole neighborhood trying to learn how to ride this unicycle. And it was, it was quite fun though. Um, it, it was fun, so funny because I fell so many times that like the front of it was so damaged, the seat from the unicycle. Uh, yes, I did, I, fall, I fell so many times and it, it was so fun. We actually had to replace the seat because how many times I fell. Do I watch The Walking Dead? I have seen The Walking Dead a few times. Hawaiian pizza. Uh, do you ride a unicycle still? I do not ride a unicycle still. Um, I would probably like fall real bad and hurt myself. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Uh, WD, WWE Ice Cream Bar. That would be cool. Do you watch Twin Peaks? I do not watch Twin Peaks. I know what it is. Uh, what is your favorite thing to cook? Um, as far as just like food to cook, one of my favorite things is a simple recipe. I, I like what's called a taco ring. I had it on one of my very early videos on this channel. Uh, so what do I... I think it, that question, that last question was like, um, what was your favorite thing with mango in it? I think that's what that question said. Mm, pepperoni pizza with mozzarella and provolone inside the crust. That would be good. Uh, what's my favorite NFL team? Uh, because Baltimore is literally right there. Um, I would have to say the Baltimore Ravens, but I grew up as a Dallas Cowboy fan all my life. But when the Ravens moved back here, I kind of went with them. What's my favorite dessert? I saw the last comment I just saw right there. My uh, favorite dessert, anything with chocolate in it, really. Um, but if I had to spe specific, uh, specify an exact dessert that I liked, I would say like cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory, especially, um, especially like um, the Reese's, although all of them from Cheesecake Factory is pretty cool. You should do a cheesecake. I should do a cheesecake. You're absolutely right. I have done a couple cheesecakes before, but I, I need to do something big and spectacular. So yeah, I do have to do a cheesecake recipe. Yeah, I will. I'll look it up. The ice cream bar, WWE, I'll have to check that out. Make funnel cakes. I have made funnel cakes. In fact, last Halloween, I made funnel cakes that looked like little monsters, and I colored them like, um, I think, green and orange and different colors like that. Yeah, so uh, check that out on my channel. I did make that. That was a lot of fun making those. I know if you looked at the picture, you probably wouldn't know it's funnel cakes until you actually read the comments, but I um, read the description. Please, cheesecake. You love cheesecake. I do, too. So I, I do have to make another cheesecake for sure. Dallas Cowboys, yes. Um, I am still a Cowboys fan, even though Baltimore is so close. But yeah, I am a Cowboys fan too. I, I have made churros as well. Um, in fact, I made Oreo churros. Uh, favorite Food Network ch chef? <clears throat> See, I don't know if it's Food Network or Cooking Channel, but See, I kind of like um, Guy Fiera, Guy Fieri, I ah, can't even say his name, <laughs> but Guy Fieri, um, he's pretty cool. You know, I just like, mainly I like the stuff he does when he's like driving around. I think it's diners, drive-ins and dives, something like that. There's a show where he's driving around seeing different things. Um, so, yeah, so it's all, it's all pretty cool. Yep, so how's everyone doing? I know earlier people had put on where they're from on here. Do I like Mexican food? Yes, I do. Um, not all of it. I'm not a big fan of spicy. Um, yeah, you love him because he came from Kentucky. Furious Pete. Yeah, I like Furious Pete. Um, actually, I met him at VidCon. We were in the hotel together last year, I think it was. 
uh, not this past VidCon, but the one before, I think it was. Yeah, so we're at VidCon, and I hopped in the elevator to go up to my room, and he happened to be in the elevator with me. So I just told him that, hey, I like your channel, you know, and that was pretty much it. Short conversation. <laughs> and that was Furious Pete. Yeah. So, cool video. Thank you. So, yeah, what we did was we made these lollipops. And, in fact, this is what's left over, which I should probably actually... Yeah, this is going to be hard to get out. <laughs> so this is what's left of my lollipop. Now, to clean up, you want to have soaky, soapy water in here and hot soapy water. Let it soak a bit, um, and it'll dissolve a lot of that stuff. So it won't stick to your pan. It sticks to it right now, but it'll clean it up better. So actually, I'm going to do that right now. So actually, this has cooled up pretty nicely. Let's try it out. That's my cherry vanilla lollipop. Put some soap in here. Get some hot water going. Hey, Jelly Ducky, how you doing? So we just got done making our lollipops. Right now I'm cleaning up. Uh, you live in Portland, Portland, Oregon. Okay, good to know. See, I didn't know that. I knew Joseph. Uh, my favorite soda, believe it or not, is Diet Coke. <laughs> Go on top, chef. <laughs> Cupcake shows. Yeah, that'll be cool. What do I make? Um, oh, I made uh, lollipops, homemade lollipops. Um, and actually, I'm going to pull them out. I put them in the freezer to hopefully they'll heat up quicker. <laughs> yeah, the first time I did a fidget spinner, it was a lot of fun. They were giving them out at different places at VidCon. So I said, oh, this would be cool. So I had a friend of mine videotape me as I tried a fidget spinner for the first time because they were like the hottest thing going around. So I was like, why not? I'll try it. Uh, I should do a banana split. They're one of your favorites. Yes, I like banana splits too. Uh, Napoleon rice crispy treats with, ooh, wow. Can you do a vlog of your day? I should be able to do that sometime. I just think it'll be very um, boring to watch my day. Um, that's just my thoughts, but you know, I'll do it sometime. Maybe when I have uh, something going on, you know, if I'm traveling or something. When I do travel, I do share vlogs, uh, just like I did the last time when I was at VidCon. So I'll do vlogs when I travel, just to kind of, um, I'm not seeing all the comments. Um, I'm sure there's, if I see it, I'll do it, but we'll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, so let's try to pull out. It's still not completely done. Well, let's try this one. So here we go, we're gonna pull these out. These are lollipops we made and Let's see, I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to, maybe. There we go. Now, it didn't turn out great. This was the basketball, but it's still a lollipop. Cherry vanilla. Now let's do the football, because so many of you wanted me to make the football one. <laughs> football lollipop. It's National Lollipop Day, so now we have lollipops. They're going to taste great even if they don't look like what they made. And like I said, you can make this even if you don't have molds. You can simply just put some wax paper down on like a cookie sheet, put that on there and just drip some on a popsicle stick. And that's the football, yeah. Sadly, this is the football. Uh, but like I said before, it's hard because uh, when it's really hot and you're putting it on these plastic molds, they, the plastic molds tend to melt. I mean, it's 310 degrees. So that's why I do like the silicone molds because they don't melt. And it's still a little warm because remember, this is quite thick. See how thick this one is? So it takes a little longer for this one to cool down, but I might be able to get it out. This you can just pull out. Oh, look at that. And like I said, it is quite thick. 
that is the guitar. So here's the guitar lollipop, and these are awesome. You can reuse them. So if you have a choice between silicone molds and plastic molds, get the silicone molds. Of course, the plastic molds are cheaper, but you get what you pay for. So there's our little guitar lollipop. So Dragon Pepper, thank you. That's what it looks like. Yeah, the guitar did come out good. You know, I like it. It's, you know, I love these molds. Thank you so much, Jelly Ducky. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun doing that. Hmm. So, I promise I will do more live videos, and uh, hopefully I'll have everything set up for my laptop so I can do it better next time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm learning, too, from this live video. With no mold. How can you achieve the same thickness with no mold? Okay, that's a good question. One of the things you can do is, I'll show you, take some um, foil, right? You can fold it. I'll do it up here, that way you can see it. Just fold it like this, right? So now you've made kind of, if you want a round lollipop, there you go, you have a round lollipop, right? You can get a lollipop stick. Take a lollipop stick, put it in there like this, shape this whatever way you want to shape it, and and put it down on some wax paper or something like that. And it'll work out to be the same. Of course, you know, I did this kind of like fast and everything. You would actually wrap it around so the smooth side is on the inside. But Oh yeah, Country Hill Cottage, yes, I watch their stuff all the time, they're really cool. Um, so that's one way of doing it, and you can shape this any way you want. I've actually made cookie cutters out of foil, so I couldn't find a particular uh, shape of cookie cutter I wanted. So what I did was take foil and I wrapped it up, and actually it wasn't just foil, it was actually, you know, the metal tins you use to cook like those big, um, like turkey dinner and stuff. So I did that and I just uh, cut it into strips and then wrapped it like that. So you can use that as a cookie cutter. So just, just a thought. So that is it guys. We made some popsicle, or sorry, lollipops. I have popsicles on my mind. So we made these lollipops for National Lollipop Day and it was a lot of fun doing this live video. I loved your comments. I loved answering all your questions and we'll do more live videos, I promise. They'll probably be on Thursdays, probably a little earlier than this because this is quite late because I have a lot of audience over um, across the pond there uh, overseas and it's quite late. It's uh, well, right now, it's one o'clock in the morning in England, two o'clock in the morning in the rest of Europe. So. I'll definitely try to do these a little earlier in the day, probably around 6 o'clock is what I'm shooting for, 6 o'clock East Coast time in the U.S. Uh, yeah, so it's 1 a.m. over there. So sorry it's so late for you. Um, I'll try to do it a little earlier. We'll try to get it a little better for you guys. And this was a lot of fun making this. And you know, I thank you all for stopping by and saying hello and, and being so great. And we're going to do this again, guys. So... Um, you know, thanks so much, and I will see you guys. Don't forget to check back Sunday, and check back Sunday for the video I'll put up. It's a summertime recipe. I will give you that hint. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.